What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Guys, this video is going to be lit. I thought of this, and I was like, this would be super dope. All right, now, it's kind of branched off of the idea of the whole job application thing that we did with CPA Grid. If you haven't saw that video, make sure you go see that video. I did it uh, probably about a month or so ago. Uh, but this one, I think, will work a whole lot better, guys. The way I was thinking about it was I was on AdWork Media, right? AdWork Media, if you don't know, is another CPA platform, right? They have this background check offer that they someone will have to pay for, right? But it's $22.50. Now, me thinking, I was like, hmm, I think that would go over a lot better if I found out a way to do it. And I did. All right. So what did I find out? All right. So this is what I was thinking, guys. And let me know if you think this is a great idea. I'm going to actually probably either do a case study on it, maybe, or I might just, you know, run it and then make a video just kind of showing the results of what I got. Uh, you also can try this, too, because I, I believe it's going to work amazing. All right. So this is what I was thinking. Right. We come to, uh, let's say, monster.com or indeed.com or uh, whatever those you know the job sites are right you find any job title it really doesn't matter or if you're somebody who already has a business and you're looking to hire somebody uh this will be super perfect for you right if you're just looking to add somebody on or whatever so this will be perfect so you guys can all use this right so let's say we found uh, a job right i was on penske but we could do anything like you could type in whatever manager uh, supervisor whatever you want it doesn't really matter uh and people love jobs we know that right we're in the job society you know not not too many well it's going more toward a lot of people are going more towards entrepreneurship but a lot of people love jobs still right so let's just say uh i'll click back on penske right so a fleet maintenance manager uh manager or supervisor right and so this is what we're, we would do we would just pretty much copy whatever it is right all of this stuff we would just copy all of it right you would make yourself a page so for instance let me see if i apply it the website let's see what it'll have me do so i can pretty much use all of this right so this is what i could do i could copy this or you can make up whatever job you want at the end of the day really doesn't matter like i was trying to tell you guys all right so we'll do the header and i will say this i will paste that there right boom I'm probably going to make this a little sloppy just because, you know, I'm going to come through this real quick and you guys will see what I'm doing, right? So, for instance, we copy all of this, right? The whole entire thing, right? Now, uh, let's see. Cop, uh, control A on this to copy everything, delete it. And then Control V. I'm on Mac. I mean PC, so Mac will be different on how you paste and things like that. You guys know. Uh, but so we'll have this just like how it is, right? Exactly how it is. Now some of these things we'll have to go through and do the uh, the bold titles on whichever one it is. Like I'm pretty sure this one is bold, so I would bold that, right? Uh, yeah, all of these are. So you can do this kind of however you want to add a picture, right? Blah, blah, blah. And we'll, we'll do all this really quick just to make sure, you know, it looks similar, right? So you can kind of tell which ones are the headlines and you will just come through and do that. After that, if you want to add a picture, we can definitely do so, make it a lot more appealing, more official. So normally I would just copy, save this image, boom bingo we'll come here add image uh we'll do this upload and then we'll go ahead and upload that image see how that looks right now like i said you could do this with anything it really doesn't matter but you guys are going to see how killer this is about to be right because i'm almost sure that it's going to work I'm, I'm almost positive just because of, you know, when I thought about it, I was like, man, this is this is money right here. It just came to me, right? So, bingo. Here's the job uh, description. Now, what you can do is grab a button and click apply today, right? Now, this is not necessarily a content locker, so you don't have to worry about that on this video. 
right? But apply today, right? They'll click that. Then, guys, what we're going to do is actually go to the job. We're going to make the job application. So how are we going to do that? We come to a website called, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Jot form. Absolutely free, guys. Jotform.com. You can make, you know, job uh, applications or, you know, like a survey type of thing. So we click this, create a form, right? You can make a job application form. Uh, you could do a single page, you know, form. So let's try to create a form, right? Uh, let's use this template, right? You can add, and then they have all these other different templates that you guys may get some ideas from. But you know, you could do a uh, course registration, uh, hotels and booking, PayPal payment pages, and all that kind of stuff, guys. All kinds of stuff, right? You could do customer surveys, feedback, uh, new registrations. I mean, they got a ton of different things. So. Uh, let's see if we can find, I think the job one may be at the top, but I guess you can kind of use this however you want to, right? So let's see if we can find the job one. Let me see here. J-O-B. See if we can find the application really quick. Okay, so what I had to do was I had to type in job right here and press enter and all of these different job forms came up, guys, right? Job seekers applications, just all kinds of different templates that are really, really professional and dope. Super duper dope, right? Some of them even have headers. Some of them have all kinds of stuff, as you can see. So after that, uh, you just pick one. I'll pick this generic one, see if this works. Yeah, we can use this. We can use this template. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can add all kind of stuff to this, right? And so what we would do is you can come in here and you can edit anything on this form, right? So we can leave a lot of this the same uh, email address and phone number. The phone number is going to be very important. A position they want to apply for, like I said, you can come in here and change whatever positions. So, you know, you want to say, you know, manager, whatever. Let's see here, manager, supervisor, shift worker, whatever, right? Uh, I'll say supervisor, and then we'll leave all that there, right? So just so you guys get the point. So after that, they do their position, they, file, they, they put what day they can start, they'll upload their resume, guys, and then they'll submit the form. So once they submit, uh, I believe you go to properties, you can uh let's see here field details unique name let me find it because i know it's here somewhere let me see here okay so i went to settings right here and actually whenever you sign up to job uh job form sometimes it'll have you use your facebook or it'll have you use your uh, google your your gmail so i just signed up using my gmail and whatever email you use is the email that that information is going to be sent to right so whatever information that they put in that's going to be sent directly to you okay so you'll have access to everything they filled out on that form right and so you're essentially the middleman you basically playing the middleman at the you know however you want to do it or the lead person uh you can come in here uh you can you know send out an email to them if you want to you don't have to. It's completely up to you. Uh, recipient, you can do this. And I wonder if this actually works with a uh, bulk emailer. Hmm. Could. I'll test that out. Maybe this is something different. Uh, but okay. Uh, after that, uh, I don't think you need the. Oh, you're going to need this link. So you'll come here to publish. You'll need this link, right? This link here. Let me make sure this is the application. I don't know if I published it yet, so it may not show up. Okay, it does show up. Okay, so if they click jobs, manager, supervisor, boom. Okay, this is perfect, right? So this is the job application, but you can make it a lot more fancy. You can put, you know, words and all that kind of stuff on it. Uh, if you want to, you know, add whatever, just to make it super official, you can do all that, add different tabs and all that. Uh, you guys can play around with that. But after that is done, right, they'll come here, they'll fill out whatever it is that you put in here. They'll click submit. That information then comes to you, 
right, to your email, right? All these people, because people love jobs, right? They love it. Absolutely. They're going to, they'll, they'll rather comment on that post. If you make that on Facebook or Instagram, they'll rather comment on that post than you starting your own business. If you say, oh, I started my own business, who's interested? Most people are not going to, you know, because they don't, they're, they're just not used to it, right? So we're giving them something they're used to. So uh, after they submitted, the information comes to you. Then you go over here. If you don't already have one, I suggest that everybody gets one, a Google voice number, right? You get yourself a Google voice number, absolutely free. You can sign up, get you one, uh, comes with your own number, comes with your own uh, voicemail, whatever. You can set that up. You can have multiple. So you can set this one up strictly uh, for people to contact you on the Internet or whatever it is if you just don't want to get your real number. Uh, but we would use this number because if you actually go to Google Voice, let's see here. Okay, guys, so I'm in my Google Voice right now. As you can see, I have 52 unread messages. I have people blowing me up all the time. Six missed calls, 37 new voicemails, right? People call me out from this channel that you guys are on all the time, right? Absolutely love it. Try to get back to everybody as fast as I can. But this is something that you can do. Now, I'm on the desktop version. Uh, I'm not sure how it works with the app, but you can act. I think you can call people. You can actually call people from your Google Voice number, right? It'll it'll ring and everything, and it'll show whatever number that you chose. Uh, this is the number, my Google Voice number. It'll show whatever number that you chose, right, as the person that's calling them. So what's going to happen is when that information comes to your email, right, you are then going to call them, all right. Now this is this may make some of you uncomfortable. If it does, you don't have to do this method. But for those of you who want to do this method, you can do it because at the end of the day, you're going to be acting as the secretary. Right. Or you can have someone else do it completely up to you. But what you're going to do is you're going to call them and say, hey, you know, we received your resume, your application. You're just going to go through the whole little process. You know, I may even write a script out for you guys to say, you know, but uh, you could it could be real simple and sweet. Say, hey, we checked over your information. Everything looks great. Uh, do you think you'll be able to pass a background test? You guys see where I'm going now? Do you see where I'm going now? All right. So none of that information that they put on there will be sent to you anyway. So it's just going straight through the CPA form, which is the people on the other side who actually run the background uh, check uh, company. They're going to have all the information. You're not going to get all any of their personal information. So you don't have no one has to worry about that. Right. Uh, so and they'll and most people say, yeah, or they'll say no. But most people should be like, yeah, you know, I can pass a background test and say, OK, great. What I want to do is. Uh, I said, we do have a few other people applying for this position, right? So it's not a guarantee that you'll get, a, you know, a call back. But, you know, uh, passing a background check, you know, could put you further along than someone else, right? And then uh, they'll say, okay, great. You know what I mean? And then from there, you would send them an email, right? So you can write out some a nice looking, you know, script and just say, hey, you know, whatever name you want, whatever email you choose to do. Uh, you can make up an email uh, and then send them this information and you can say things like, you know, uh, here's the information that we spoke about on the phone. Uh, make sure you go here to get your background check. As soon as that's done, it will be submitted. Right. And then you should hear, you know, some information through email or call or text uh, in the next few days with, you know, what our decision was. Right. And bingo they're gonna be like okay you know to see if they got the job boom they're gonna go ahead and go through it now uh let me go to adwork media because when when you come to this background check right i'm just gonna go here right uh i believe oh here's the final step so the final step uh they'll have to pay 22 dollars 86 now most of the time when you go get a background check it does cost uh because i remember when i had a job i think i had to go pay uh, a certain amount to get background check ran and all that drug test or whatever it was. Uh, so that's perfectly fine, right? They're going to pay for that because they want to see if they're going to get, you know, a position or whatever it is. Right. Uh, and so they'll pay for it. You will get your 20 something plus dollars. Right. And then after that, now, if you're somebody who's really trying to get someone a job, this would be a great way to do it and make a little extra money. Or if they don't get the job, since you know how to make money online, you can say, hey, unfortunately, after after a certain many certain amount of days, you can send an email saying, hey, unfortunately, you know, the position is filled. But 
if you are still looking to make extra money, uh, we do have some work from home positions that you may want to look into and bingo you can send them uh some affiliate stuff that you may know some cpa uh options that you may know all kinds of stuff that you can send them and say hey but these these are uh, certain things that you could do to make extra money while you wait or look for another position bingo right and so that was the bright idea that i had and i know that it's going to work i can just absolutely see it and so i love to talk on the phone i don't have a problem with it some of you may it may you know uh rub you the wrong way may not uh may take you out your comfort zone but you know in order to make money you got to get uncomfortable you know sometimes you got to step outside of that comfort zone but i think it'll be fun i think it'll be a, a good way for you guys to open up uh and it could lead to a lot of other things right and so some of those people you know, they may go ahead and go through your website and say, hey, well, I do see these things uh, that I may want to sign up. They may want to sign up to Forex or affiliate marketing or Shopify or whatever it is that you guys have. They may be willing to look into that. Right. And so that's what I have for two, you guys today. Hopefully this video was, you know, jam packed with value. Go out, try this stuff. I'm going to try it myself as well. Uh, and other than that, I will be back probably tomorrow with a CPA video for a CPA grip uh followed by more videos of uh, forex and investing all kind of stuff guys i'm just about to flood the internet right i'm just gonna flood it and then uh if you guys have any questions my number is below the video all my information my instagram all of that stuff guys follow me contact me i'll help you in any way that i can uh get the cpa course if you want it uh it's there everything's literally below this video right other than that i will see you guys in another video peace out.